exercise five. Exercise five challenges us to construct an isosceles triangle and be given some information regarding the geometry. So the base length AB equates to 100 millimeters and the base vectices measure at 75 degrees and 52.5 degrees respectively. So let's look at the second part to exercise five. So we're going to construct an isosceles triangle, but this time the base angle is measured at 52.5 degrees. So the first thing we're going to do is to draw the base of the triangle. And similar to exercise four and we, let's call it exercise 5.1, the base is 100 millimeters. So I'm going to stand at one end of the ray, describe an arc like so, stand at the other end and scribe an arc like so and this should give us R, A and B. So I'm going to move the T square so that I can then draw the outline of the base like so. So we've got our line AB. So how do we go about constructing the triangle? So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start off by drawing a semicircle, a half circle about A. So open to a reasonable distance and scribe an arc like so. So where the arc or the semicircle cuts the ray, let's call that one and two for referencing and explanation purposes. So we're going to do it like so. So how do we construct a 52.5 degree angle? So I think the best line of attack is to construct a 30 degree angle. So let's do that because 30, 52.5 take away 30 will leave 22.5. And we know that 22.5 will be half of 45 degrees. So it's going to be quite sequential in terms of how we go about doing this. So let's start off by constructing a 30 degree angle. So the first thing that we do, similar to what we did previously, if we keep the radius the same for the half circle and we use that distance to cut the semicircle, similar to exercise four, that gives us a 60 degree angle. So open from two to A, then cut on the semicircle. That intersection, let's call that three get our straight edge draw a line from a through to three and this will give us our so let me use a different color this should give us our 60 degrees so this gives us 60 degrees so if we divide 60 degrees by two that would give us 30 degrees so I'm going to stand at two, open half the distance of the arc and scribe an arc like so. Okay, you can scribe the other way for inspection purposes. And I'm going to stand at A, sorry, I'm going to stand at A, I'm going to stand at three, scribe to cut the previous arc like so. So let's call that intersection four. So if I draw a line from A through to four, that will give us 30 degrees. Like so. Now, I'm using this as an opportunity to demonstrate constructing angles because I could have easily used a 30 degree set square. Okay. Had a 45 degree set square placed parallel to the base of the 30 degree set square and bisected that into two. So that's another way of going on about that. But to be very honest, I think that's what I'm going to do on this side so that at least I could demonstrate um, two things. All right. So we've done that. So the next part is to what I'm going to do is on this 30 degree line. So let me just write that for referencing purposes. Okay. So let's call that. Are 30 degrees. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw. So let me extend that angle. So what I'm going to do is it looks as if I've translated, I've rotated this base. 
So that's what it looks. It looks as if I've rotated it. So what I want to do is I'm going to construct a 90 degree angle to rest on the 30 degree line. So I'm going to bisect. So I'm just going to open be half that distance. So again, let's call this distance there. So I'll call this small a and call this small b, like so. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct a 90 degree angle. So I'll stand at a, open more than half the distance, scribe an arc like so, up and down if you want, stand at b, scribe to intersect, scribe to intersect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw. So again, if you've done this correctly, it should go through A without any issue. Oops. Okay, so like so. All right. So I know that the angle from there to there, okay, from the 30 degree line to our 90 degree line okay and again based on that 30 90 okay from here 30 so that model gives you 120 so this angle here gives us 120 so again something to think about in terms of rotating and translating angles so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stand at a so let's call this part there where this 90 degree line or let's call it 120. So let's call that 120. Okay, from there to there. So let's call this point. So let's call that, I don't know, let's call that C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand at A. Open to C. Well, not open to C, but half beyond more than half the distance of the arc. I'm going to scribe an arc like so. Okay. You can scribe one at the bottom if you want to. Stand at C, same distance, scribe to cut the former, scribe to cut the former. Okay. So where those two lines cut, let's call that, uh, no, let's call it D. Okay. So I'm going to draw a phantom line from A to through D, like so. Okay, and that's our phantom 45 degree. On the 30 degree line. So, let's call this D. So between D and A, or D and four, if I divide that, because that is basically 45 degrees, if I divide that, that will give me 22.2, uh, sorry, 22.5 degrees. So what I'm going to do is, so let's just call this intersection there. Let's just call that E for referencing purposes, if that makes it easy. So I'm going to stand at A, open to a distance to more than half the arc length or the length of the chord in terms of A to E. And I'm going to scribe an arc like so. I'm going to stand at E without closing the compass, strike another arc. So let's call the intersection point. So let's call that F, All right? Get our rule. So from A, I'm going to draw a phantom line through that like so so this angle there is 22.5 so let's just write that so this is 22.5 degrees okay and this angle there is 30 degrees so the two angles should equate to 
1.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this arc to just show what the dimension is going to be. So I'm just going to introduce our dimension. And we're going to use our protractor to confirm that the angle that we've constructed is true. So this angle there should give us 52.5. So let's get our protractor. Okay. And let's see. So we've got 50 there. So at least we know that it's greater than 50. So 50 there, so 50, 51, 52, and it's almost halfway, okay? So let's see, make sure that, yep. So look at it very carefully. So that's 50, so 50 is in line with 130, so 51, 52, 52.5. So I'm happy um, with that. So this is 52. 5 degrees and there you have it so what am I going to do so as I stated the number which you can go about doing this but to save time this is what I'm going to do so I'm going to bisect A and B so yeah there's a lot of uh, construction lot of arcs okay like so all right so what I can do is uh, let's just call so we've used what one two three four let's call that point six so I'm going to either use a set square and just going to draw a bisector so where the bisector meets the 55, uh, 52.5 degree line, that will give us the other vertex of the triangle. So let's call that RC. And then all I have to do is just join C to B. like so so yes a lot of processes has really gone into constructing this particular triangle again just to double check get our protractor just to make sure that everything's gone accordingly so yeah I'm kind of like happy um, with that so if you look at that that is 50 51 52 between 52 and 53. So yes, I'm happy um, with that. So I guess we're all good and dandy. So what I was trying to explain um, previously was that I could have used a 30 degree set square, like so. So I could have used a 30 degree set square, then that B, scribe an arc, like so. So let me just demonstrate that here. So let's just call that a B. So let's call that B. So this is just for explanation purposes, what I could have done. So at B, what I could have done, let me just uh, draw a 90 degree line, phantom. And what I could have done was I could have used a 30 degree set square. So that B, scribe, okay? So I know that the angle to the horizontal is 30 degrees, like so. And then I could have followed by placing a rule, okay. Or what I could have done, instead of using the rule, I know that the interaction between 30 and 60, so using the 60 degree end of the set square, I could have just stood here like so and scribed a normal to it like so. So I've got a choice to either, you know, um, draw an arc, like so, 
if I wanted to. Do an arc like so. Bisect to that arc like so. And then draw. Okay, so at least I know that this angle here, all right, is 45 degrees. So this angle from there to there is 45 degrees. And the next part will be to divide the 45 degree angle into two, like so, like so. And that would have saved considerable time, but again, it's more about the learning process. So half of 45 would give me 22.5. And this would have given me our 52.5 degree angle. If I decided to go this route. Okay. So I'm just using this as an advantage to show you construction of angles. And hopefully everything makes sense. Okay. So on that note, I'll see you in the next one for exercise six. Have a good one. Thank you.